So this is Shane Leonard, Interactive Device Design. This is my final project, um, the MP3 player. So I built a Bluetooth controlled one button MP3 player. Um, so as you can see it's powered right now by a wall outlet um, adapter and just plugs directly into the Arduino. Um, so right now it's paused and um, it has the song title on the LCD. So to play the music and pause the music you just click the rotary encoder. So right now it's pulsing, indicating that it's playing music. Um, so there's an audio jack here that we can connect to speakers. And then this controls the volume as well. So we can turn up the volume. So you can hear the music playing through the speakers. Um, so again, you can play or pause. And right now the rotary encoder is not lit, indicating that nothing is happening and then you can play again. Um, to skip and change songs, you pause and twist. So now it's on to the next song. So that's the basic functionality. Um, and now there's some more advanced features. So first of all, I also built this MP3 player so that it can be standalone and not need any other devices. So I actually have a power switch and it's powered by two AA batteries. Um, so I just click the power switch. As I can, you can see it's not plugged into anything. And I have two speakers. So if you're just sitting alone at your desk, uh, these speakers aren't very powerful, but they do play music without the need for earbuds or an audio jack. So just adjust the contrast. You can see it went back to the original song. And now I'll turn up the volume. And so the music is coming out of these speakers. And all the normal controls still apply. So I'm going to turn it off. And um, just to save battery life, we're going to plug it back into the wall. So part of the design um, constraints that I put on this project was I wanted this MP3 player to be able to be controlled in a variety of different ways, um, especially if I was going to have this controlling a speaker system in my house, I wanted it to be able to be controlled from my phone or from the laptop. So I have a Bluetooth module inside, you can see the blinking light. And so this Bluetooth module takes commands and it reads to the serial port um, of the Arduino. And so I built a processing app on the computer um, that's just a very simple controller. But it um, implements all the same features that the rotary encoder has. So um, we'll turn up the volume so that you can hear. So right now it's just playing normally, and I can click the pause button in the app. It's not connected to the computer, but it controls regardless. And I can skip, I can go in different directions, and um, control all the functions of the MP3 player. Also this pulsing can be controlled so that it pulses at the beat of the music. Um, so all you do is just click on somewhere in the screen along with the beat and it'll adjust the pulse. So so you can see the pulse speed change and it's better is suited to the music. I'm going to implement different features in software. Um, so that this can be a cooler visualization for the music. So that's the computer. I can also control this from my phone by connecting to Bluetooth and just writing directly to the serial port. So here's my Android phone. I have uh, just a simple terminal app that will connect. So I just click connect device. 
So right now it's connecting to the MP3 player. And to pause, I just send a P and I pause the music. Um, to play again, and just send another P. To go forward, send an F. And it has all the normal controls. So in my house, I could just have this controlling my speaker system downstairs while I'm upstairs working on stuff and um, just not have to go downstairs and mess with things. So that's all of the features of this MP3 player. Um, I built it so it's modular and the um, different components can be used in different ways. So this is pretty expandable and in software I'm planning on implementing a bunch of other cool things, especially with visualization. So yeah, that's my project.